The first step to configure the occupancy monitoring application is to create the people counting rule. So from the camera's main menu, go to statistics, and then people counting. You'll see it says people counting AI. You need to enable the people counting. When you check this box, you'll see it pops up asking you to uh, apply or save. Then under configuration, you need to have at least one rule or line drawn. To draw a line, you check the box for the rule and it will draw a new line. You can then drag uh, the ends of it wherever that doorway is. The arrow should point where people are walking in, their path they walk to go into the facility. If it's the wrong direction, just click on the arrowhead and it will change. You would have two rules if you have two doors or if you have one entrance and one exit. Again, the arrow always points in. So if it's an exit, make sure it's pointing the wrong way to show which way is in and then people are walking out. And then give each rule a name down here. Then once you do that, you can come on down and you can hit apply to save. Uh, again, because this is an AI camera, it can be at an angled view. It does not need to be a top-down only view. And then there's an event activation time. That should say always if you want this rule to always be counting people all the time. If the facility is only open certain hours and you only want it logging those people certain hours, you can choose the schedule. A certain area that you wanted to make sure you exclude people from, uh, maybe there's a doorway that's not part of this or a window, you can draw an excluded zone. You can see right here, you can click to add more points to the polygon as well. You can then have someone do a test, have them walk through that doorway, and if within a few seconds you should see them uh, increment the in or out count. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.